To make the Florence flask, you will need these materials. You will need some green yarn or whatever color you want and some white yarn. Um, the weight I used was worsted weight, which is a medium weight, I guess, and it says number four on it. Um, you also need some black embroidery thread, paper and pen to mark down which round you're in, um, some safety eyes and closures, a paper clip, embroidery or crochet needle, and a 5mm crochet hook. One thing I did forget to put in was um, polyester stuffing or any kind of stuffing that you have. For round one, we're going to be doing a magic ring, which is single crochet six times. So form a loop and then take that yarn from that loop with your crochet hook and pull it through your circle that you just made. And then go underneath that circle to pull the yarn in. And then pull that piece of yarn through your two loops. So that's your first crochet, single crochet. Um, do that again. And that will be your second single crochet. So repeat that four more times and you will have six single crochets inside the circle. Once you're done with six single crochets, you're going to pull that smaller string to tighten it um, to make it more look more like a circle. For round two, we're going to be doing increases in every single stitch. Here's what the side looks like. Stick your crochet needle in through the, all the way and then pull it through. Put in your marker as a paper clip for your first stitch and pull it through the two holes. So that is a single crochet. But we're going to do an increase. So stick your crocheting hook into the same hole again. and pull it through and do another single crochet. So that's what an increase is. Do an increase for the next one. So pull it through, do a single crochet, and then put it through the same hole again and do another single crochet. And then repeat that increase for the next four stitches. And then at the end, you're going to have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to be doing a single crochet in, and then an increase. So poke through that first stitch and then put your marker in. Pull it through, so that's your single crochet. 
and then for your next stitch you're going to do an increase so which is basically a single crochet and then another single crochet into the same hole again okay for a third stitch we're going to do a single crochet And then for the fourth stitch, we're going to be doing an increase. So basically, same crochet into the same hole. And then you just repeat it. The next one is same crochet. And then an increase. Same crochet. increase for round four you're going to do a single crochet for two stitches and then do an increase and then repeat that six times so for the first one, do a single crochet, and then for your second stitch, you're also going to do a single crochet, and then in your third stitch, you're going to do an increase. Okay, and now repeat this again. So. Single crochet, single crochet again, and then an increase. For rounds 5 through 8, just do a single crochet all around. Um, just make sure that you write down your rounds every single time you finish them and also move the paper clip as your starting marker for each round because sometimes you might forget and then you will lose track. So it's looking more like a ball now. Um, make sure you flip to the side where you have the smaller string inside the bowl. And yeah, just continue until you finish your eighth round. For round 9, you're going to do a single crochet for 2 stitches and then do a decrease. So for your first stitch, put in your marker and do a single crochet. Second stitch, single crochet. And then for the decrease, poke your hole through this half of the stitch and then do the same for the next stitch and pull your yarn through the holes and then do a single crochet and we're going to repeat that again so for the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet and make sure you know which hole to poke through don't poke through your the hole you were just in for the decrease. 
go to the next one. Okay, next is the single crochet again, and then the decrease. Go through half a stitch and then half a stitch for the next one. Pull your own through, do a single crochet, and then repeat this six more times. And at the end, you should have 18 stitches in total. going to do a single crochet and then a decrease. So put in your marker and then do a single crochet and then do that decrease. So poke through a half the stitch, not all the way through, and a half the stitch for the next one too. Pull your yarn through, and then do a single crochet. And then repeat that. So single crochet for your next stitch. And then do a decrease. Half the stitch, half, and then pull your yarn through, and then single crochet. Okay, we are done with the first part, and now we're going to be using the safety eyes uh, before we proceed to the second part. So count about like six rows from top, I mean from the bottom, and put it into one of the holes. And then count four. You also have to put in the backs for the safety eyes so that they don't fall out. And if you have the same ones that I do, you put it in like this. So reach inside and just plug it into one of the eyes. Uh, this part is optional, but I thought it'd be cuter if it did have a little smile. So take your embroidery thread and put it into your crochet needle or some kind of needle. And this is the middle, and that's where the point of that smile should be. We're basically doing a arrow that points down, so just approximately see where the smile should be and go inside and make your um, left side of that smile kind of near the eyes and then make the point the pointer of it towards the middle of it and then go to the right side of the smile near the right side of the eyes try to make it even and then you go through the same 
pointer in the middle of the smile again. It should look like that right now. It's looking kind of cute. Now that you got the tightness of the smile correctly, we're going to do a knot. Just make a simple knot here. Let's cut that string. Flip the inside out a little bit so that you can see where the knot is and just do a couple of more knots to secure it. Before we start the second part, you should put some polyester stuffing or whatever stuffing you have um, because after we do the second part, it will be a little bit harder to stuff it all into the bottom. So just stuff just enough that it fills the top and to keep its shape. We have to switch to white yarn, so take off your marker and put your hook in and grab the yarn out as if you're going to do a crochet. I mean, I say crochet, but don't do that yet. Um, we need to cut the yarn right now. Take your white yarn, and I know I have two pieces of yarn right now, but I'm only doing that for the thickness of it because I don't have the uh, the worsted weight yarn that I have for the green one. So I'm just doubling it up. Um, and I'm going to make a small loop like that. And then I'm going to flip it over so that the string is in the middle of that loop I just made and I'm going to try to take it out of that circle and yeah it should look like that right now it should look like a knot with a loop above it and you're going to slip in your crochet hook through that and then you're going to try to adjust it and tighten it so that the loop is the size of your crochet hook and then you're just going to try to slip it through the two loop two holes as if you're doing a single crochet and tighten the green uh, tail So for around 
rounds 11 through 18, just do a single crochet all around. So just slip your hook in and do a single crochet with the white yarn now. But also don't forget your marker for every round. After you're done with all your stitches, it should look like this. And here's how we're going to end it. We're going to be doing a slip stitch. So let's first cut the yarn. And what you're going to do is just slip that yarn tail through your current uh, hole that you have and then just pull it through and we don't want that tail to be sticking up so you can stick your crochet hook from the inside and then grab that yarn tail and try to hook it in. And yeah, it should stay inside. Just push it down a little bit and it should stay like that. And this is the final product. I think it's super cute. You can take some stuffing and stuff the tubular part of it. You can stuff it in all the way, or you can leave some out a little bit so it looks kind of smoky as if like a chemical reaction is going on. So this is the final product and I have an actual Florence flask in the background and the cool pin from the Molecule Shop. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually plan on making a tutorial for the Erlenmeyer flask and a beaker for this collection later. So please subscribe to my channel. If you finish your chemistry flask, please tag me on Instagram. Follow me at iyarnthings. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below whether it was helpful or not and any other projects you would like me to make.